Hello everyone, I am Richard Mitchell, the Reviews Content Director, and I'm here with Mr. Zab Damatos, our Features Content Director. What's up, Richard? You have been playing a game called Golem Arcana uh, from Harebrain Schemes, the same studio that recently brought us uh, sort of the revitalized Shadowrun for PC. And like Shadowrun, this was also a Kickstarter. And uh, tell us a little bit about how it works. Yeah, so Golem Arcana is this combat-focused miniatures game that utilizes what can only be referred to as black magic and an iPad to power its dark arts. <laughs> okay, so this is this is it's not like a video game in the strictest sense. It's it's sort of a combination with a board game too. Yeah, it's uh, it lives in this weird world where it's part board game and part app. And there are a lot of board games that are doing this. The XCOM board game, for example, that's coming up needs an app for it to work. So after creating the modular world, which you craft with these various tiles and these little mana wells and other special pieces, uh, each player moves its army of golems around the board to get within range of their enemy. Uh, the trick is how the game interacts with the real world by way of this iPad app using this special stylus device. Uh, so you tap the figure you want to move, that figure shows up on your iPad and tells you how many action points you have available for your movement, and you can select to move or attack enemies uh, using that black magic wand. Um, you move your characters once you're finished in the physical realm on the board, and either you can keep moving if you have action points left, or you hand the stylus off to the next player, and then they go and use their available pool of points uh, to attack or move. Okay, so so this is more than just a regular stylus, because obviously, like a stylus couldn't, you know, interpret information. So how does this this magic wand work? So as fun as it is to say that Golem Arcana uses black magic, the reality is far less mystical. Uh, the wand is an infrared stylus that identifies characters and tiles in the game by the ink that's printed on the actual figures and on the tiles. So if you examine the characters of the cards carefully, you'll see the base uh, with each character's name and ability is composed of these tiny little dots. And those dots carry the proper information telling the wand and thus telling the app which character or ability has been selected and what tile you're moving to. It's actually really cool. Okay, so, but it, it, is it actually, is it fun to play? Because, I mean, it sounds technically very interesting and, and that uh, sort of an interesting achievement, but is, is it fun as a game? So Golem Arcana isn't a very deep war-based game, nor is it as involved as epic games of Space Hulk, for example. Uh, there's novelty to playing a game that interacts with both an iPad and in the real world. Battles can be tense, and there's a wonderful strategy involved in moving your army around and away from danger. Uh, it's a little bit like Final Fantasy Tactics come to life. And the iPad enhances the experience by adding flair to the combat, so whenever you see an attack happening, you see a little animation on screen that represents it. Uh, so it gives you a little video game feel. Uh, but what captured me the most was how the app allowed me to focus on the combat and strategy. A lot of times with these miniature games, there's a lot of micromanagement that takes place. You have to worry about things like dice rolls and hit points and experience points or the advanced rules. The iPad does that all for you, which I think is fantastic. And it keeps you keyed in on the fun that take and takes care of that micromanagement while you just combat with your friends. I guess the other question that I have is, you know, most board games, especially like these, you know, figurine based board board games like like Warhammer and stuff like that is all about how you can expand it and, and make it bigger as you play. Even even boxed board games like like Last Night on Earth, you know, they have expansion packs and stuff like that. So are you stuck with just your your basic set here or is there any way that you can expand it? Well, thanks to the popularity of the Kickstarter, uh, the game has been expanded throughout various different forms. There's more figures, there's more tiles that you can purchase. The base game comes with six figures and a series of tiles. The app helps, helps you arrange those tiles in a number of different configurations for large or small games. Uh, Golem Arcana can be expanded with new figures, like I said, and they each have their own uni unique abilities. And as you play the game, you can enhance your existing armies by changing the attributes of the knights within each beast. So if you look at each character, and these are very detailed pre-painted models, um, your army has the, these little knights that are sort of on top of each figure, and they act as the rider. Uh, in the lore of the game, those figures, the golems, they actually are lifeless beings. They're just composed of stone and bone, these knights bring them to life and you can adjust the abilities that they have like giving more mana or uh, other powers 
to those golems. So you can actually customize these pre-painted minis, which was something I was a little afraid of because usually when you play these miniature games, the way you customize it is the way that you paint it. So this way you actually customize the characters that are controlling these giant golems. So it, it's it's available now. The Kickstarter was successful. Uh, if, if people wanted to give it a try, how did they get their hands on it? It's available right now on Amazon. The retail price is about $80. You could find it cheaper, though. Uh, and it's a great stepping stone for anyone who's looking to game off the grid, but still wants to keep an iPad or Android device handy. Um, and, and you've enjoyed your time with it. Do you think it's worth 80 bucks? I had a lot of fun with it. And I think that if people are looking for something that offers the similar strategy of a Final Fantasy Tactics, but isn't as involved or as expensive as something like Space Hulk or Warhammer, Golem Arcana is a great alternative. Space Hulk or Warhammer, Golem Arcana, Arcana, I said. <laughs> <laughs>